हेलो माई डियर्स आर यू डूइंग वेल ओके डिड यू एंजॉय योर वीकेंड ओके वेरी गुड इन अवर लास्ट क्लास वी स्टार्टेड अवर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर इलेवन केयर फॉर फ्रेंड्स राइट वॉट वी स्टडी इन दैट क्लास येस वी स्टडीड अबाउट फर्स्ट एड राइट डियर चिल्ड्रन डिड यू रीड योर टेक्स्ट बुक वेल Okay shall we start our today's class dear children so today we are going to learn about the first aid to be given in case of dust in the eyes it is common that dust falls into the eye at times dear children did you know how can we remove the dust particles in the eye okay so let's see first step is to rinse the eye with clean water or remove the dust particles with the help of a wet handkerchief do not rub the eyes when the dust particles fell into the eye if we rub the eyes the tiny blood vessels in the eye becomes break and causes infection the particles that get into the eye should not be forced out but removed only with the help of a medical assistance so these are the first aid should be given when dust particles fell into the eye okay did you understand the next topic then we have to discuss is sprain did you know what is sprain a sprain is an injury occurs in ligament ligaments are bands of fibrous tissue that connects bones to bones and joints look here dears the fibrous tissue that you seen in this picture are called ligaments in this picture we can see that the ligaments connecting two bones so once more dears what is a sprain Yes sprain is an injury occurs in ligament mostly sprain occurs in our ankles okay my dears did you understand about sprain okay so dear children what will you do when there is a sprain in your ankles okay so that we can discuss the first step is to hold the sprained part high without moving then place an ice pack to the injured part to reduce pain do you know what is an ice pack it's a plastic cover with ice pieces and water wrapped by a clean piece of cloth then wrap the injured part with an elastic bandage okay so these are the first aid given for a sprain person okay my dears did you understand okay shall we move on to the next topic the next topic that we have to discuss is bruise do you know what is bruise it's a common skin injury occurs when heavy objects fall on the body and this results in the discoloration of skin dear children do you know what is the reason for this discoloration of skin okay teacher will tell you when heavy objects fall on the body the small blood vessels under the skin bleed and it causes black blue purple brown or yellow discoloration of the skin okay my dears did you understand about bruise okay so let's see the first aid that can be provided for a bruise first we have to place a wet piece of cloth or an ice pack on the bruised part to avoid pain or swelling then do not apply heat or 
മസാജ് ദ ബ്രൂസ്ഡ് ഏരിയ മസാജ് മെ റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് ഓഫ് സ്കിൻ ഇൻ ദ ബ്രൂസ്ഡ് ഏരിയ ഓക്കെ മൈ ഡിയേഴ്സ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് എയ്ഡ് ഗിവൻ ഫോർ എ ബ്രൂസ് ഡിഡ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഓക്കെ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ഈസ് ഫെയിൻഡിങ് ഡിയർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഡിഡ് യു നോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഫെയിൻഡിങ് ഫെയിൻഡിങ് ഈസ് എ temporary loss of consciousness dear children did you know what are the reasons for fainting okay so let's see emotional shock pain lack of food sight of blood standing up suddenly standing in hot conditions etc are some of the reasons of fainting okay my dears did you understand about fainting dear children what will you do if your friend fainted while playing in the ground at first we have to see that the person can lie down when he feels giddy giddy means having the tendency to fall then we have to hold the legs hi then loosen the tight clothes last step is to ensure fresh air by avoiding to crowd around the fainted person okay so these are the first aid to be given for a fainted person okay my dears did all of you understand okay i hope you all understood the topics that we discussed on today it's time for winding up our today's class see you in the next class